Hello friends, I welcome you all to this presentation and in this presentation we are going to be modeling this steel water stand successfully and so I want to urge you to like the lesson, subscribe and stay tuned as we proceed into the lesson. Let's start. I will go to the file tab, click on video, project right there. In the new project dialog, I will change the name of this project to Steel Tank Stand Design. So I will use modeling right there, just like this. And then for the template, I'll be using UKBS F010. Select right there, click on OK. Here we go. We have a new template created with the title Steel Tank Stand Modeling. I'll go straight away to the modeling tab. Right there, so I can set out my grid lines at first. So I go to orthogonal XZ generator, click right there, and then I select the modeling view to have a, the exit generators dialog just like this. Then in the direction one, label A, axis spacing, I will be having 500, which is the clear distance from the water tank comma 1500 which is the first cell right comma 500 again which is also a clear distance in the other side of the tank in the direction two exits exit level one exit spacing in this provision i will be having 500 again a clear distance comma 1500 right there then multiply by two so i'm having two cells right there comma again and 500 just like this i click on to okay so this is actually what i expected this is how my grid set out is so we have to now start placing the columns foundation columns so i will navigate to the modeling tab under uh, reinforced concrete members, click on column right there. This one. In the dialog, I'll change the sections of my column to be 400 by 400. Just like that. Okay. So after having this, I want to click out here and drag the rectangle over the grid line intersection where I needed to insert the column. All right, and then I release my hand to insert all my columns instantly, just like this. Okay, after having this done, I click on close to close the dialog. Can I navigate to the 3D to see what I've done so far? And this is what I have now. Okay, so I want to be generating stories. The time stand is about altogether 7.2 meter high okay so i will go to the building setup right there the tab up to these provisions and then i will navigate to edit story we have only one story right there which is 3000 millimeter I want to be changing this first story, which is the foundation's columns to 1200. It's my foundation column right there. And then the foundation depth right there, I'll change it to also 1200. Okay. So after which, make sure that the structural system is arousing, which is concrete. Click on OK. OK. This has reduced my columns, my foundation columns to the height 1200. I'll go back to the story again. And then I'll insert story this time around. I'm having all together five stories. Okay, just like that. Click on OK. 
and then I will navigate to the plan view. But before then, I'll go back to story again and edit the stories successfully. You can see I'm having 1,200, 1,200, almost all the stories. So this one now is going to be 1,500. And the second story, the third story is going to be the same thing, 1,500 up to the fifth stories, just like this. After having this done, click on OK. So here is my grid line and the last story. I want to bring the grid lines to the fourth stories. I want to bring the grid lines to the fourth story. So I double click on the fourth stories to bring the grid line to the fourth stories. Now I will be inserting the uh, the steel stations, the steel columns now. And I want to do it at this 3D. And so the instructions is going to take uh, from the story one to story four. So for me to do that successfully, I'll go back to the modeling tab right there, click, then in the steam members, I click right there, select column, all right, and then column section, this one, I'll select right there so I can choose the sections that I will be considering in this lesson. I'll be using 152 by 152 by 23 uh, size of uh, column sections. Click on select right there, and then okay so i will be placing one there on this grid line this that point just like that and then um i also placed it in this provision to have one there another one here 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 and here all right so my intention is to extend this column from this height which is level four to level one so what i will do now is I will highlight all of I will select I will deselect the command close the dialog by clicking on the escape key on the keyboard all right so I'll highlight all of this column just like this right click and then click on property so this is the property dialog in this property dialog I will look at length story this one I'll look at that one length story and I'll change this length story to um four to three click on okay so if i should check the columns see all the columns have been sent down all right so from story four we change the length story to three to send the columns down all right up to story one from story four so after having that done successfully i close that so these are my columns okay so having this now, I want to continue with this columns placement. So I will navigate to the I'll navigate to story five right there. Okay. And I'll continue to place my column, which I will go straight away to the stream member, select column, and then a fixed one there. Oh, oh sorry I didn't change this length story from 3 to 1 so I will have to undo what I've done so far all right go back to the steam member click on the column right there this provision is supposed to be 1 all right just like that and then I can now place the columns successfully just like that at the great intersection that is required Okay, so after having that done, I close this dialog and, and having something of this kind, a continuation columns on top of this one that will be connected using splice connection. Okay, so I want to start uh, placing the, I want to start placing the beams. Okay, so I will navigate straight away to story one, right there, this one, story one, yeah, okay. I go back to the steam member right there click on beam section manager to select a beam of the considering a rectangular section like this and then it's going to be 100 by 60 then the thickness i'll use 5 mm okay i select that click on okay now i'll be placing the beam from that point 
this point to this point just like this. Then I place it also there. This is at the first level. So I can now close, close this uh, game dialog. I want to be generating this game up to story 4. Alright, so I will select the game. Holding down the control key, I can be able to select the rest of the game just like that. Then I'll go straight away to the building setout, stories. In the drop down menu, I'll select generate story. In the generate story, I want to be taking that to story 2 up to story 4 right there. Okay, so after which click on OK. And the program will generate it up to that story 4 as I've selected. It's completed now. Click on Closed. So I'm having something of this kind. So I want to be taking these beams, this one at this story 4. I want to be taking it down at a distance 500 mm. The reason is because these columns that continue from this joint, I have to actually join them together or connect them together using splice connection. And if I have a splice connection here, and maybe I have end plate connection here, there will be a kind of clash between the connection of the beam and this column continuation connection. So for me to avoid that, I need to move this beam downward at 500 mm. So I want to be doing that straight away. I will highlight all the beam. That point, right click, and then um, I click on property. As I click on property, you see DZ right and DZ left. This is the provisions where I will need to make some changes of figures. So since this 500 I'm considering downward, I will select in there and then um, I click on these provisions and type in 500 right there. In that direction, click on OK. Alright. So you'll be having something of that kind. Come to this provision. Okay. Since I'm taking it downward, it's supposed to prefix it with minus. So I'll edit that. It's supposed to prefix that with minus. Okay, minus 500. Just like that. Click on OK. Alright, so I'm having something of that kind. Come to this left side. Do the same thing. Minus 500. Click on OK. Alright, so you can see now if I should close this dialog, you can see now the beams has been moved successfully downward 500 from its original uh, position. So I will navigate now to the story 5. I click on story 5 to get to the top of the steel tank stand just like this, and then I'll go to modeling right there. Steel member, click on beam, and I will be imputing beams at a distance 1000 from the top of the steel stanchion. Okay, so for me to do that successfully, I'll go to 3D, click right there at the 3D. In this provision, we are having 500 minus 500, I want to change it to 1000. Okay, minus 1000, just like that. And my instructions is going to be at this point. Once I place at this point, it will locate minus 1000 beneath the top of the column. I'll click right there at the first point. Click the second point to insert it. You can see it there now. So I'll continue to place that. Alright, just like that. Okay. I'll escape. And then fix the intermediate beam right there. Alright, I didn't make changes for that one, so I will escape that. I will escape that. Click on that beam. That beam is not well placed, so we have to delete that. Okay, click on this one. Right click, 
click on property then use that property to place this one right there all right so that is done successfully and also i will be having beam at this position at the top of the column as well so the same thing is applicable i will only have to go straight away reduce this uh offsets to zero this offset to zero this time around sorry i have to close this first so that it will not affect this selected beam it will not affect this selected beam okay i'll go back to i'll go back to the beam sorry steam beam click right there and this time around i will be changing the section i will increase the section at the top of the column i will be considering ray steam beam yeah we have been using this standard which is the Iroko standard and then the H beam click right there having 400 and looking for a smaller beam okay so I have this is uh 1100 H beam so I'll select that click on select and okay so I'm having this beam running from this point to that point sorry i need to go back to the 3d right there and change this have to change that to zero zero just zero okay escape that at first okay go back to steven again activate that having that activated come to these provisions and remove this to zero click this provision zero just like that come to the general tab click on the session manager this is the one we selected actually select that then come back to check yes it's zero so now we can place it at this provision just like this okay to continue to place it at the point of intersection all right so after which we deselect it the intermediate beam you observe that right there successfully okay so after having that done close the dialog zoom closely to see what we've done so far and the accuracy we've maintained in it successfully so this is what we are having right there so we want to be inserting the braces the braces so for us to do that we will go to the modeling tab under the main backlink right there we have braces there so by then we will be fixing that in the next lesson so i want to bring the lesson to a stop here stay tuned as we shall proceed and make progress successfully in the next lesson on the design of this steel water tank stand once again i'm suffering bye for now